What about Stefan Gilmore? Do you think he's got anything left in the tank? Do you think he's got you know, another Super Bowl run? I know he's never going to be you know defensive player of the year level again, but is he still somebody that could could be a very effective piece on a Super Bowl caliber team? Well, let me say this because you you I think you were the one that brought up Stefan Gilmore the last time, and I was like, no, I don't want Stefan Gilmore. He don't look the same. And then oh, I had man. to revisit for this video, and I was like, ah, dang, I was wrong. No, hold up, <laughs> Stefan Gilmore still got it. I don't know what game I was watching. I don't know if it was like I think it was like the Green Bay game or something was stuck in my head. I can remember him getting beat. I was like, oh, this dude is just old now. I love Stefan Gilmore. But he's thirty three. What are we doing? But yeah, Stefan Gilmore still got it. Now, Stefan Gilmore feels like he has it a little bit in a different way. I'm not gonna see her act like I was like watching Stefan Gilmore like that in like 2019. But you, and we all knew like man coverage, he would shut you down, take you out of the game. And what I always loved, he wasn't flashy, right? It wasn't like all the, the talking and those things. He would just take you out of the game. Stefan Gilmore, to me, right now, what he has is again, we talk about size, length, he hits all the measurables. I don't see some of like the the foot quickness and things like that that you would think of from your like typical press corners right now like in their prime but what i do see is a guy that man like technically like the savviness it's all still there he's so natural and pressed that like you go back and watch him against us he would line up against jamo and it's like oh no he's just matching him right off the line just running right with him and he was so pure and things like that and then again sticking to our game like you're watching him he jumped two out routes in the same game against us uh like a third play of the game he jumped josh reynolds on an out route and it's just like his ability to identify kind of the, with his eye balance read the quarterback from kind of those off covered spots he's so well rounded he's a very good tackler in space too i think athletically he's not at his prime but in terms of a very smart corner that would be reliable opposite absolutely he's still got it. And he played like a what did he play like a thousand snaps this last season with five yeah, that yeah. that was crazy that stat's crazy. His stats across the board were great. I mean, 55% completion percentage allowed on the season, 83 pass rating. He was really good this past season. So I think he's limited a little bit athletically, but he's really reliable. He'd be a great starting outside.